Hey guys, Professor Fat Shady from the University of Trials, today checking out Welcome to the Abyss, the uh, new DLC that's just dropped over the last couple of days for Trials Fusion, uh, the third, as you can see, for six DLC packs or that are uh, planned over the next uh, couple of months. Um, as always, I've not seen anything. This is a complete sight unseen playthrough of this. You get to see all of the highs, the lows, the fun, the laugh, the crying. That should probably should have rhymed better. But anyway, let's get straight into this. Uh, from what I can see, one, two, actually, it's, it's got a couple extra tracks, I think, but we're looking at for five medium tracks a two hard and deluge. Now, I didn't even know that was the name of the extreme track, but I've already. I don't know, all the, oh, I've already got dudes with zero fault, come on! But I've already had requested to do a tutorial on that one, and we've got an FMX as always, and a skill game which is also rated medium. Let's get into Depth Disturbance. Uh, look, I'm gonna go Pit Viper. I, I tend to assume these are Roach tracks, um, but I'm gonna go Pit Viper just because that's preferred by Comfortable. I kinda. That, that, that's the bike that lets me react to things the best, so if something bad happens, I can kind of save things a bit better. <laughs> okay, uh, I assume down? What? I was like, there's no track there. Come on. Whoa, okay. Oh, oh, up a shortcut. Nice. I love, see this, and this is the thing. So I've actually, I actually once, I did a, a converse. What the hell, dude? I did what was called a conversational review of Trials Fusion when it first came out with one of the, uh, well, the editor for Kotaku Australia, Mark Serrells. You'll never watch this, but anyway. Um, yeah, and one of the things that I talked about with Trials Tracks. And I used the analogy of a comfortable pair of jeans being, you know, existing game, and then talked about the fact that, um, the, you know, picking up a new track is like putting on a fresh pair of jeans. It's never going to feel as comfortable when you... What the hell? What the... Come on! What is happening here? I thought that was glass. That was the reflection from the roof. This is nuts. Oh, pff, my jeans analogy is going to sound stupid now because I'm rambling. Um, what the? This is awesome. <laughs> so, I've got to pick up my jeans conversation in a minute. I have to link to that article now so you actually know because it actually made a lot more sense when I said it the first time. What the hell? Man. That's, you know what, alright, that's like, um, that reminds me of Space Station to a certain extent, which is, I, th I want to say a DLC track from Trials HD, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, um, but with the altered physics, you kind of need to be really conscious of how you, how, like, how quickly you get your rear wheel in contact with the, um, with the ground and how much airtime you have, because it, like, we always say that airtime is bad for a speed run, but it kind of amplifies, um, the amplifies how bad that is because once you're floating in the water you can't progress yourself forward um let's keep going but i'll send you my gene story in a section please be a medium rabbit track Aww. do you know what just because it says rabbit i'm gonna do it with the rabbit see what happens the rabbit hole anyway what i was saying about the genes uh, new pair of jeans is always going to feel it, it's going to be difficult to make a good judgment call on a new pair of jeans the first time you wear them simply because they take a while to wear in and I think trials tracks are like that there's so much depth to the tracks there's so much in speed running there's so much in shortcuts there's so much in the challenges you just so, so I guess what I'm getting at is my attempt to play these things in this context um, in this kind of setting first playthrough I'm never going to pass accurate judgment on them simply because there is so much and because I know there is so much I'll always reserve solid opinion yeah, detailed opinions until much much later I'm talking months after a game comes out but so far these look pretty. I love the style. The style. Look at that. Actually, I'm getting the impression that there is a stack of different... Oh, I'm supposed to go over that. That looked to me like a huge amount of alternate paths and stuff. I kind of skimmed through that one real quick while I talked about jeans. I hope my jeans thing made sense. I hope it did. Anyway, Titan Causeway. We'll go back to the Pit Viper because that's always fun. Mountains are like... <laughs> Mountains are like big in that. 
which one of the which one of the Red Links guys writes these things? Actually, that's what we should find out. Who writes that? I had to pick who that was. Actually, I don't know who would write that. I'm trying to think based on the dudes that I know who would say something like that. I'm not sure. Hmm. Let's find that out. Let's find out who writes those stupid comments. Especially that one, because that was kind of that was pretty stupid. Wow. Those massive, big, physics-based propelled jumps are good if they're used sparingly. As long as there's not five of them on a run, I'm fine with it. Run is the track like, uh, what was it, L? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, was not expecting that. Ah, but, oh, hold on. But what you normally do with those things, oh, usually skip them all together and do that. Yes, yes. As cool as those loops are, Ah, ah, now Shady gets it. So your tendency is to skip those loops because you can avoid it, but it looks like in this scenario... Whoa, okay, oh wow. Okay, so the tendency is to skip the loops because it's wasted effort. In this context, I actually think you need to let go of the throttle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Challenge? Four flips? No, no. Hit the three buttons to unleak the penguins at the finish. Wow. Okay. I'm expecting we've just. Ah, oh, I restarted. I think we just found a button. Nothing reversed. I think that's the th one of the three buttons. Who knows? Anyway, the way that I did that, if anyone's curious, and maybe this is another hot little tip, um, let go of the throttle. Had to do that challenge, why not? Four flips. I guess that there's a button. Right, you know what, I'm going to try and find these buttons. This is the cool thing about the challenges, and you know what, if this is a rambling review, deal with it. Guys, you know my style. Definitely zero fault. I didn't say you have to be. So anyway, what I'm saying, on the big downhill, the big downhill slopes, if you uh, let go of the throttle... Okay, you know what, let's just check. Is it still here? Oh, cool, alright, doesn't have to be zero fault. Um, on the big downhill slopes, if you let go of the throttle, you end up um, getting a huge amount of speed. I'm looking for that third button. I know where two of them are, by all accounts. Oh, okay, so the second button is here. So what I do here, let go of throttle there, just let your wheels run, and you go all the way up there. Bloop. 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 Where is my third button? Right there. Bloop. Bloop. Whoa, what is that green thing? Look at this design! This just, it looks slimy, doesn't it? It looks mossy and slimy and... wet! That's, that's the whole idea of this DLC, I guess, but... Yeah... Yeah... I love what these guys can do. Even the background, the detail... I'm not even thinking about speedrunning. Who cares right now? See, these first few playthroughs are all about just... taking in the sights. Now, penguins. What? <laughs> what the hell, dude? Alright. Oh, that's cool. Two challenges already, too. I had to do that one. I like I like challenges like that. Well, anyway, actually, that, that might give you a bit of an insight into how I stumble upon challenges sometimes. So far, my times aren't very good, but you know. This is the thing. Maybe, maybe these are roach tracks. Who cares? It's just fun. This is just fun tonight. And by the way, this is the first time I've made a video in like two weeks. I've been up in uh, Queens for anyone that knows their Australian... Am I supposed to do that? Am I supposed to get down there? That feels like something I'm not supposed to be doing. So let's do it.
I have no idea why I'm doing this now, but it just looked like fun. Fail zone? Didn't feel like it, but... Why do I want to go down here now? He, he just looks... That looks like somewhere you need to go. Maybe bail out. Into that cauldron, maybe. There you go. Why am I doing this? I genuinely can't tell you why I'm doing this. It just looked like fun. Yes. What? Don't tell me it's like zero f fault. Stay on fire the whole way or something? Okay. I haven't even stopped to look at the challenges yet. I'm assuming this is a challenge. Damn it. Was that a challenge? Find the flame and complete the track whilst on fire. Okay, cool. Anyway, there you go. Um. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, look at see see. This is what I'm talking about with all the different alternate paths you can go through. Oh, that looks fast. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, and this is like. Whoa. Yeah. I don't know if that's the fastest way, but... See, and this is what I'm talking about. These um, little time savers and stuff you can get, too. Actually, I'm really looking forward to that on fire challenge, by the way. It just seems like it's fun. Not there, it won't be. Oh. Oh, was, oh no, there's a previous patch with the multiple driving lines too. I haven't even checked that out yet. Oh, what track is that like? Someone remind me. Damn it, I wish this was a Twitch stream. There was a track that had a moving platform like that in Trials Evolution. Awesome track. Oh, gone blank. Gone blank on a lot of things at the moment. That was an... That's going to be an awesome challenge. That's going to be crazy hard. That's not nice, Red Links. Poor guy. Man, these are cool. These are fun on a bun. And I still haven't got through the mediums yet. Oh, i got to laugh too. I should find out who it was. You know what? I can give him a shout out. While we're waiting for this. Told you, less and less professional, looks up the Uni of Trials Twitter account for a dude, I gotta say this, funny, sick, uh, sick, oh jeez, uh, 83651605, and I love this tweet, well you ruined Trials for me, used to take me weeks to master tracks, got gold and platinum on an entire DLC in two hours, I actually felt a little bit bad, I mean, obviously, he's, in one way, he may be serious, I don't know, I hope he said it somewhat funnily, um, but uh, obviously, say that the uh, tutorials and guides that I've provided have helped him a little bit, but a little bit too much because he's uh, <laughs> not getting his value for money out of this stuff now. Uh, the one thing I'll say is that even gold, platinums is only the start. It's only the start for these games. Um, you know, you set yourself personal goals. If you want to get gold, you want to get platinums. But once you start getting them and get them consistently and easily, um, the one thing I always try and do, and this is a rule for people that have been playing for a little while, um, try and resist the urge to look at uh, replays and even videos like this, for instance, until you've actually got yourself a platinum run. 
Now, it's hard for me sometimes to say that, and people ask to, to see me make these, so I'll make these. But on a personal note, I always avoid spoilers, and I'll play this until I get platinums before I'll watch anyone else get a platinum. It's like target practice. That's just evil. These guys are sick. So anyway, apologies if I did ruin the game for you. I don't think I did. I'm really hope. I mean, I really hope as much as this is about spoilers to a certain extent. I think this game is so much about that learning and you know that shared experience of shared knowledge and all that type of stuff. I really don't think um, it can be spoiled as such. Apart from maybe you know I don't know maybe everything I do is a spoiler. Maybe it's just, I don't know. I wish, it's, it's funny, I've, it's always it's always been a bit of an uncertain area for me. What was that start? About whether or not this is just, you know, a spoiler channel and, you know, am I taking away fun from people? But I figure someone else is going to do it. You know, you can choose not to watch it. They're always pretty clear in the descriptions what I'm doing. If you don't want to spoil the uh, DLC, you wouldn't be watching this, so I think I'm cool. I think I'm cool. He says. That top way is much faster. Try and hit that. What does that start? Oh, and I might as well. Only because I was talking about this on Twitter about half an hour ago, I might as well take the opportunity to say that for any Aussies watching this, specifically if you live in Melbourne or I happen to be going down to PAX. Uh, PAX Australia, which is scheduled for, I don't know, three, four, probably four weeks from now. Um, I'm going to be down there by all accounts. I don't know if I can say that. I think I can probably can say it. Um, there looks to be like Trials Fusion will be there. Not, you know, I'm not sure what, but it, I, I, I have it on pretty good advice that you'll be able to play Trials Fusion when you're there. You'll be able to catch up with me. Um, I'm even thinking, the competition that I run for Australia and New Zealand, I'm even thinking about. I'm not sure exactly yet, but I'm planning on trying to make it coincide. So people that are at PAX Australia will be able to participate in person uh, for that competition as well and be able to take away some prizes. So, um, yeah, there's my little plug, but if you're getting along to PAX Australia, make sure you come and say hi. Um, anybody, viewer of the channel, please come and let me know. Um, I'm still waiting for that day where someone spots me on the street as some random dude. What, I don't know what this is doing. These penguins are twisted, man. Is it time? You know I only play this for the extremes, right? No, nah, one more. But yeah, kind of excited about PAX. It was actually, um, it's funny, I remember when I first got, I probably already told this story now, but I first got to play Fusion, like a couple of months before the game came out, sitting in the developer studios, and all I wanted to do was play uh, the extremes. I just wanted to check out the new extremes. And they gave me, because it, you know, they didn't have sort of save games and whatnot, so the build of the game that I had to play was effectively a fresh, it was the sort of latest build. But it was a fresh game with no save file or anything, so I kind of, I had to play and you know, grind my way through, for use of a better term. So I got to check out all the things, but all I wanted to see was the extremes. And you know what that's like when you've got to play through and unlock the entire game just to see those extremes. And this is kind of the same. Even though the extremes are already unlocked, I kind of want to see everything, but in the back of my mind, I'm like, when is the, when is the extremes happening? <sighs> Alright. Difficulty curve. Nice to see you today. That should be possible. Launch off there. Alright. That you need to have a hit. Okay. Bunny hop there. There and over. Rear wheel. Yep. Could see myself hitting my head on that pretty quickly. Bunny hop. Whoa. Uh, is that a flip? You know what? There's two ways to do it. It's that. But I suspect. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do it now. I suspect you'll be able to skip. Do a weird little flick of that and you should be able to get out of that. No idea what I'm talking about just yet. Oh. Looks like a challenging driving line, that's for sure. Okay. What is all this stuff? These guys are nuts. 
Welcome to the abyss indeed. Now. Now. Deluge. Let me see what people are doing. 43 seconds. Big shot, Rob. You are a freak, dude. And he watches the channel. I'm going to say this. You are a freak. He's honestly, big shot, Rob. You scare me. There's plenty of people. I mean, like you're fourth. There's three other people that scare me more, I guess. But um, people like you scare me. Anyway, oh, scuba rabbit. That looks fun. Nope. That's tough. I'll oh, come. That's crap. You know what? I got a message and got distracted. Okay, that's fine. Bunny hop, bunny hop, rear wheel down. That's fine. Ooh, that's tricky. Ooh. I may have said this in prior videos. The Red Lakes guys have this way of making old obstacles seem new and that was a good example oh god oh that glass that glass breaks oh, it does wow oh that's a round object like, man please tell me that is that just an effect or does that glass actually break if you I was hoping that glass gave away. God, this is... This is tough, but not too bad so far. Yep. It's actually been a few weeks since I've played Trials, because I've been on holidays, so... A little rusty, but um, not so. I love that glass effect, though. I will say, if you don't like uh, consecutive bunny hops, oh, I did that really poorly, by the way. If you don't like consecutive bunny hops, you may not like this track. But so far, it's not. Yeah, not unrealistically. Oh my. Says he's 17 faults into this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just did that. That's deceptively hard, actually. Yeah, that's no way of the machine. That's alright. That's good. That makes me feel better. I have another crack. What is that? 20 faults. Because I remember I did this on uh, Devil's Beak, right? My f I think on my f my playthrough video like this, I got 80... I want to say 87 faults. And my next attempt, I had like 4 or something. Clearly isn't the case with this. So I can't even do the start properly. It's funny, I need to go back and watch my own video now and see how the hell I did this. What have I still got to check out the skill game? And not the FMX, just because. Okay, I'm genuinely going to go back and watch my own video on this. There we go. Mm. 
And for anybody that's asking for a tutorial, I suspect this will be the obstacle you want tips on. I really was trying to hit the brakes there. Clearly didn't work. Uh, and that's going to be heaps easier if you do this in one hit. There you go. And that one, you just got to hit the back wheel a little bit to give yourself a bit of a boost. What am I, six faults in? Oh, so this is my problem. That was a cheap fault because I don't remember the track. Luke there. That was weak. There we go. Half of my faults. I'm happy with that. And, and, so that's a good, that would have been a good way to finish the video because I beat Joker. Take that Joker. I think he. Yeah, I think he watches these. Too busy being all red licks. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'm jealous. Uh, wow, how far are we? 26 minutes. Alright. 214. Yeah, I'll take that for now. Uh, let's go through Labyrinth Zone. Now, skill games are good. Actually, uh, read a little bit about this, I suspect. Coming up too fast will give you the bends. Nice little scuba diving reference. I'm a scuba diver. Get as far as possible before running out of oxygen or getting burnt to a crisp. Come on. Okay, that didn't work. I am a scuba diver, by the way. If anybody on the channel is so here. So, I'm on fire and drowning. Oh, so I've got fire level and I've got vit. I'm confused. Oh, wow. So, underwater. What the. Wow, okay, sorry. I've just realized that. So, using your tires underwater. Oh. Yes, yeah, so I'm a scuba diver. If anyone wants to talk about scuba diving, let's talk scuba diving. Don't do much of it, by the way, but I've got my certificate and got it in like 1998. So do the maths on both how old I am and how many times I've been scuba diving. This is an odd skill game, but it's weird because we've got so many different things to juggle. Assuming water now? Oh, wow. Yep. Yep. But again, so this, this is one of these skill games that I, I kind of like. I'm not a big fan of, you know, some skill games just because they, you know, this oh no um not a big fan of some skill games just because i guess they're they're such a deviation away from the trials writing but i always like the skill games that sort of actually teach you a skill that was useful for trials trials writing and as much as you know um being on fire or you know propelling yourself under water like that's probably a little artificial it does something really cool is that it teaches you about momentum and flow and driving line and it teach it does teach you some techniques and does get some of those concepts across which i do think is important and so even though that's just a bit of fun a bit of a distraction it does teach you something uh, useful uh, for the rest of your sort of trials writing anyway um do you know what just just, be, just because it's 29 and a half minutes let's give 30 seconds to fmx let's check it out i need to check this stuff out Saw like a performing killer whale. We need to find out who writes this stuff. Wow. Yes, that's how my FMX career has been so far. Okay, this guy, this guy. 
back on the bike. Okay, perfect landing, backflip, out the back, down below. Thank you. That one up high. No, yes. Yes. Just just do one there. Nice. Two. Oh. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I gotta watch this. Ah, oh, oh, oh. I got lucky. You see, that's what my entire FMX career is like. so bad at this. Looks pretty though. How was that a good, how was that a perfect landing? Good luck. I landed on my face. I'm honestly, I'm the world's worst ambassador for FMX. I don't know what I'm doing still. And the worst thing is, right, and this is, honestly, I, I've had to come to terms with this. It is so easy to blame the game when you suck at FMX, but I've seen people do it well, and I've seen people that get it, and seen people that are talented at it, and skillful at it, and successful at it, which suggests that there is a learning curve, and unfortunately, a lot of... Mm, there we go. A lot of people don't like to admit that, but... <laughs> it's like I will say it about myself. I am the problem here. Yeah, you know. There we go. Silver metal. That will do. Oh, oh, achievements. No idea what that is. Anyway, anyway, that was my abyss. <laughs> I've forgotten what the name of the DLC is. Welcome to, welcome to, welcome to the abyss. That was my 32 minutes and 10 seconds worth of welcome to the abyss. Uh, awesome. A couple of challenges chipped away, which is kind of nice. Only in one for one random reason. Uh, Deluge, look, that that is tough. I mean, I got it down to 10 faults already. Um, I suspect I'll be getting zero fault on that much earlier than Way of the Machine, which I've still yet to get. Um, but yeah, still a, still a really nice technical track. I can see why there's more people doing uh, zero faults now, but yeah, really nice technical track. Um, what can I say? Tracks speak for themselves. Overall aesthetics, fantastic. Um, again, getting away from that sort of you know, super, super sort of uh, clean futuristic stuff and getting into that sort of grimy and dirty and gritty kind of look. Um, the abyss concept, the underwater concept, the, the, the water, the moss, the, all of those things there look, uh, look and feel pretty damn cool. Um, and um, yeah, I got to beat Joker on something, so um, I can't really complain. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, Deluge is probably a tutorial I'll have to make relatively soon. Apart from that, let me know in the comments. Um, I did get back from my holidays with a bunch of comments. So apologies if I didn't respond to everybody. Um, but there was some heap, heap of suggestions actually for more custom tracks and just more tutorials and a bunch of stuff. But keep them coming in the comments and I'll always get around to them when I can. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.